Okay, so my group um, did our project, and it centers around predicting lung cancer risk and uh, the correlations between symptoms and risk factors of lung cancer. Um, and our, our team, uh, we all collectively worked on uh, this website. About half of us, including me, did a model, whilst the other half did a graph. Uh, so the six of us built this AI project from scratch in these three weeks. So we are proud to show our fruits of labor to you. Um, and as mentioned, our project is about lung cancer, which is the number one cause of cancer-related deaths worldwide, according to the American Lung Association. Thus, we have made it our mission to help in whatever way we can. Okay, so our first page is all about our plots, which is like really here for reference. So first off, we have our correlation heat map, which shows the relationship between variables, or in this case, the symptoms, which is used to help us draw conclusions on which symptoms should be focused on. So looking at our visualization, you can see all the different symptoms and how they correlate with each other. And this correlation is plotted via our two scatter plots, which are very important to seeing the direct relationship of two symptoms by giving us the exact values for each point. And just as a quick heads up, uh, these two scatter plots do color one specific variable called level, which represents the patient's lung cancer risk from low to medium to high, which is by the in progress. By the numbers one, two, and three, respectively. Okay, and so on to the first scatter plot, which is between occupational hazards and genetic risk. So we decided on these two variables to plot first because they have the highest positive correlation with each other with a value of 0 0.89. Next, we have another scatter plot between obesity and alcohol use, which does portray some positive correlation, yet you can see how much more scattered this plot is. Nonetheless, there's still a relationship between these two symptoms and the level. Therefore, these symptoms are very important to model, especially if someone has one or more of these symptoms. And now it's on to the models. So the first of our models is the MLP classifier, which is a type of neural network. So this model takes in input data from a table, which travels from the input layer to one or more hidden layers. And finally, it goes into the output layer where predictions are made. So in our case, the model took in 23 features of input data, such as chronic lung disease, genetic risk, and air pollution, and tried to act or accurately predict an individual level of lung cancer, low, medium, or high. And this was denoted by the numbers 0, 1, and 2, respectively. So it, our model used two hidden layers with 70 and 40 neurons each. And this created a 100% accuracy in testing. And so the number of hidden layers and amount of neurons at each is actually very important because this affects the accuracy of the model. And our numbers 70 and 40 were at first a very lucky guess, but this won't always be the case. So instead, what we can rely on is a function called grid search CV to derive the most parameters by looping through all the possible combinations of them. Next, we have our logistic regression model. And this is our statistic statistical model, which predicts the probability of an event taking place. It is well suited for classification tasks in comparison to the linear regression model, which is suited for regression tasks. Thus, when we feed the model the user's input symptoms, it helps us predict the risk level of lung cancer. Below here, we have our confusion matrix or a visualization on how the model performs, where the levels are denoted by zero, one, and two again. And as you can see, the model performs really well with a mean absolute error of 0 0.02. And then our last model is the KNN classifier, which stands for K nearest neighbors classifier. And it classifies new data points by identifying the nearest data points to the input and assigns a majority class among those neighbors to the new data point. So the amount of data points the model considers has to be chosen and performance can be sensitive to this choice. For instance, if a point was near the most of class three or a high level, then that point would be labeled as class three and so on and so forth. Since the KNN classifier outputs um, multiple symptoms instead of only three levels, a confusion matrix could not have been made for this model. So 
we wanted to let you know that our model has an accuracy of 87%. And in conclusion, all of these models can successfully help people understand their general risk level and accordingly get tested for lung cancer, which could decrease the chances of late stage detection or premature fatalities. So here's the AI. So in order to uh, make this AI function properly, we have to follow these instructions. First of all, we have to pick the model that we'd like to use, uh, the neural network or the logistic regression model or the KNN model. So if, we, if you need an explanation, you can go back to the models tab that Niharika explained. So then you have to answer these questions on a scale where one is the smallest value and eight is the uh, highest value. So then you have to answer these questions uh, truthfully and within the scale parameters. So in, uh, in order to save time, I already answered these questions and I'll just click submit and you can see my results. So based on uh, all the, uh, based on my answers, uh, I have a risk level, like my risk level of lung cancer is low. Um, moving on to our conclusion, uh, moving on to our conclusion, here we highlight why this project is significant and why we chose this out of the various topics out there. So lung cancer is the most common cancer in the world and it affects millions. So through our product, we incorporate the AI helper, the plots and their data to help um, a potential patient understand the impact of their own health and be made aware of where they stand on their own health status whenever they want to know. Our product is accessible and provides guidance to everyone to take their first step so they can seek further, more specific help from a doctor. And our product helps people who may not have the resources to receive that many professional appointments.